Earlier this year at Click Live at the Hay Festival, Maisie was a part of one of our most memorable moments. Maisie, are they working? Yeah, I can see your microphone and I can see that you're smiling and I can see the buttons on your shirt. Take a look at the audience. Yeah, they're waving. <laughs> How, um, I can see there's a lady in the front with a red jacket. The guy next to her is wearing stripes. Oh my God, it's so amazing. Following that episode, many of you got in touch to ask whether Maisie got to keep the Give Vision glasses. Well, we're happy to say that she did. And we asked her what she's been up to since that show. So what have you used the headset for since? I suppose the most exciting thing for me was going to see uh, my favourite singer, Pink, uh, live in Cardiff. I bet she looked epic. That was, it was the most incredible night ever. I cried so much and danced so much and just had a fantastic time. It's so amazing what technology can do for us blind girls, isn't it? It's incredible, it really is. <laughs> We wanted to get Maisie back on click, so we teamed her up with journalist Lucy Edwards, who's also blind, to take us on a tech tour of blind life and to test some new innovations along the way. I lost my sight seven years ago. Navigating the world can feel like a huge challenge, even with my gorgeous guide dog, Olga. I usually use my guide dog Willow to get around, but today we're trying out a new device, the WeWalk Smart Cane. I think Olga's a bit confused with the cane. <laughs> the device has a round sensor to detect obstacles. I paired it with my smartphone and AirPods to send me direction. So my AirPods pick up the information from my phone and uh, the navigation system reads it out to me. Uh, when we got there it said Starbucks now on your right and yeah by then we could smell it anyway couldn't we? <laughs> when I was using the cane it was always okay. vibrating. That's buzzing a lot. Is it? Yeah. Yeah the buzzing got really quick so I knew that I was in front of something that was quite a large obstacle. This might be an improvement for some cane users, but personally I found the feedback slightly overwhelming. I can imagine it could probably get quite difficult to detect what's important and what's not important. I was excited to show Maisie an app named Microsoft Soundscape. It uses 3D sound to point you in the right direction. You can hear the sound as if it's yeah. around you and it's like you're in the, in the software almost. Facing southwest along World Piazza. When you're tuned into the app, it will name nearby shops and restaurants. It even highlights what's on the pavements. Is there bike parking in front of us? One useful tool is the ability to set an audio beacon, say, if you want to find your local supermarket. 65 metres west. OK, right, it's making this tip-tap sound. Tapping sounds help guide us in the right direction, although we did manage to walk past the shop door. I think you don't quite believe that it's to the right of you. At least we had our guide dogs to help us find the entrance. At home, some of the simplest tech can actually be the most useful. But big tech companies like Apple, Google and Amazon are also trying to make their technology better for people like me. Most of the time, I use my smartphone and Apple Watch. It's so great that it can connect to my Apple TV and you can get it to play your favourite moments. Lots of smart speakers now have audiobook services. One new and particularly unusual audiobook is called Unseen. It's the first ever audio comic book. When you hear this sound, that's the so panel cool. Has yeah. Changed. Cover the word unseen in bold letters. Slowly Amazing. Fading. As the word ends. No one ever does that, that's the, the typeface. Describing the pictures and the, each panel, which the is the, the big part of unseen. comic books, mm. you know. I can't wait for Unseen's creator, Chad Allen, to release the next segment. I don't know who the hell you are. I don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> I was also excited to try a new device from Bristol Braille Technology. This device that I have in front of me is called the Canute, and this is the very first ever 
several line braille display. This sounds like a typewriter. <laughs> Using buttons at the base of the device, you can upload books, PDFs, and documents. The multi-line layout is great for feeling diagrams. It's an easier and quicker way to read. It's nice that you can do, you can use something like this and not have audio all constantly all the time. Are we reading Braille? Yes. I was even more impressed with the next device we tried, a pair of Orcam smart glasses. These use a camera and artificial intelligence to read the text around you. And you can use touch, voice and gesture commands to change its settings. So what are you doing, Maisie? So I have got a magazine uh -huh. and if I point at a line... I always say that there are two... <gasps> it's reading it! We surprised Maisie with a book from one of her favourite authors. Caitlin Moran. The all camp tells you the time I from a glance you the time. at your wrist. The time is 3.29pm. Yay! <laughs> and can name who's standing in front of you. It's right. Of course, I wanted to see if we could get it to recognise Maisie. The device does this by remembering the unique points of a person's face. A bit like a map. <laughs> Just swipe my head round. Oh yeah! Hi. High five! <laughs> Blind girl, high five. <laughs> we also tried a new feature, the ability to scan food product barcodes. This was a hit. Tomato cooker soup. Remember to hold your item about a foot above the countertop. Alexa, what am I holding? I was really excited to test the new Amazon Echo show feature. You hold a food item up in front of the screen camera and move it around until the device tells you what the item is. It was difficult knowing whether the item was centre screen, and this threw up some less than accurate results. Show me another side. It looks like vanilla Coke, Coca Cola, oh soda drink. Oh my gosh! That's cool. Yay. That's really cool. Oh, see, that's so like, I've done that so many times. Like, I've picked up like cherry diet Coke, Coke. by mistake. Yeah. So, we've actually also just been told that that wasn't vanilla Coca Cola Coke. and just regular Coca Cola. You'd have to really nail getting your snapshots correct to find this useful. <laughs> it was so great to try all the technology throughout the day. The wider the choice of tech, the better for everyone. Not everything today was a complete success, but the impact that blind tech can have continues to surprise me. I'm really excited about the future of accessibility tech.